Hello, Greg. This is Leo. Look, uh, it was nice chatting with you quickly. I understand you're really flat out. We all are, but I'm going to make this video for you. It's going to take 10 minutes. I'm not here to insult other SEO guys by all means. No, that's not who we are or what we do. Uh, obviously, you know, different strokes with different folks. Some people work harder. Some people do the right things. Some people have more knowledge. And I just want you to know that myself and my partners have a lot of knowledge and a lot of success behind us. So, uh, first of all, look, I'm going to start off with your website. I'm not going to insult it at all. It's pretty good. Uh, you've got a good contact form here. And this is an orange, which is a really good idea to have. People can see that. And you've got some good content here. I've read your website. And it's all about integrity. So I like that. Um, okay, so going to your website. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple of things that we do. And I'm also going to show you some proof of what we've done for other businesses. And I'm going to show you how much more traffic is coming to their website. This is only good for you if you wanted to grow your business, if you wanted the phones to ring a little more. If you wanted an extra two or three clients per week or five clients per week or ten clients per week. Depends on how much you want. Okay, so first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the website that we've worked with. It is in Texas. Um, this is the website here. Um, well, first of all, I think it's really good if you did update your website, and this is the kind of work that we do. Number one, uh, you know, it's just a beautiful, neat-looking website with some videos there and a lot of links in here, which Google picks up as well. Now, that's tip number one. Number two, um, I've did, done a lot of experimenting with this particular website um, and tracked everything, and I found that for this fencing website, I actually received more phone calls when I changed this button, um, which was before down here further, and I changed it and I put a click to call up here and a click to call up here, and then I changed it from blue to orange. And I noticed for this particular website, I had a spike in phone calls. It increased by around about 60%. Now, I'm not saying orange is the right color, um, I'm not, it just depends. You, you never know until you test it, and that's something that we do also. Okay, um, now uh, I'm going to show you some proof of what we've done. Okay, so this is one of our websites. Uh, it's for Limo Hire, which is obviously not related to your business, but that's not important. What's important is this. Now, I've got some tools here that I use for keywords and, and so forth, and it gives me all the information I need to know. I just want to show you what we've done here with this. Okay, so um, this tool here shows me that you can see in here, I'll let this load up. It'll show you the position that we are in Google for particular keywords. Okay, so this is the important stuff here. It's not about being number one in Google for a particular keyword. It's about being up the top or preferably number one for particular keywords. Now, if we look at limo hire in Melbourne, look at that. We're position number four, but look at the traffic. Hummer limo hire. We're number two for this one. Look at the traffic. 880 customers a month are searching for this keyword, and we're ranked number two. Um, if we wanted to, we can get number one, but you know what? They're generating so many phone calls, uh, they just possibly can't handle. And if you look across here, we're either number two, number four, number four, number two, number three number one for these keywords and it all adds up now i've put your uh domain name in here sydney spine and i can see you know your busy months it's, it's dropped down here uh in july it's picked up and so forth and basically it hovers to around about 300 visitors coming to your website a month which is pretty good but if i look at the keywords if we if somebody's to type in chiropractor you're number 76. Well, that's the most competitive keyword. Um, but you don't need to be number one for chiropractor. You need to be, you know, spine health, um, hip pocket, um, Sydney clinic. They're not really your keywords. You're more on chiropractic, right? So chiropractic Sydney, chiropractic Sydney, you're number four. That's really good. But for all these other keywords, you're 45, you're 80, you're nowhere to be found. You know, chiropractor uh, Sydney CBD, uh, you're down here and the list goes on so you're basically number 50 number 60 for most of the important keywords but a lot of other keywords that have nothing to do with you city rail doctors Sydney 
Uh, Sydney buses. <laughs> They're all irrelevant keywords. Okay. And that's something that we don't do. We, we, we target, you know, at least six to 10 to 15 keywords, depending on the business, to drive more visitors to your website. So Sydney Chiropractic Care, there's 70 searches a month for that. Uh, and you're ranked number 10 for that. Uh, that's a good keyword, Sydney Spiral Care, you're number four. It'd be good to be number one for that because then you'd be generating a large share of that 70 over there. Okay, and the list goes on. Now, what I've done over here is I've looked at some of your competition. Now, this, this guy here gets a little more traffic than you do, but a little more consistent. Okay, so Sydney Chiropractor, he's won it. He's number one, and there's 590 searches for that a month, and he's getting most of that. Okay, he's getting 50% of the traffic, uh, people searching in Google. So he's optimized for this one here, Chiropractor Sydney CBD. We need, you know, Double Bay and all your other stores to be in here. Um, let me see some other good keywords. That's a good one there. Chiropractic adjustment. That gets 170 searches. And all these other keywords. Your number one, number three for a few of them. That's really good, but you need to... Oh, sorry, that's your competitor. See, so he's number one, number three for these important keywords. Cine chiropractic care. Um, spinal care, he's number 71. That's no good there. Um, let me just, and the list goes on. I can go on forever, but I want to keep this video very, very short for you. Okay, this one here, Cairo, Sydney. Well, the search term doesn't really yield much traffic. It's only 20 searches a month. But then again, you know, if you get a few calls from this, a few calls from that keyword, and all of a sudden, you know, you could add another, you know, 20, 30% to your bottom line, you know? Because um, obviously, if you're getting you know an extra twenty percent phone calls, that's twenty percent in revenue. Um, and just think of what that would add to the end of the year. Okay, another thing. Um, we're we're based in Sydney. I meet most of my clients if they want to meet me. I'm happy to do that. But I just wanted to show you some proof, and I've done that with the Hummer Limo hire. Okay, uh, this is another good one here. He's done quite a bit of work, but what I've done is I've just gone into Google and. I thought, okay, chiropractor, what are people going to search for? Back pain, because that's something that I have. So I took in the number one guy here, um, back pain solutions, and look at all the other keywords that you're missing out on. There we go. Back pain solutions. There's 800 searches for that, um, and so forth. So there's a lot of keywords that you're missing out on. Um, going back to yours again as well. Um, I'm not insulting the SEO guys at all. That's not what I do. But when I've had a look at the backlinks, uh, linking, you don't need to know the terminology, but basically what this means, Greg, is that there's a trust call with uh, linking. And Google, like Facebook, Facebook uh, has a lot of trust. YouTube has a lot of trust. Yellow Pages have, has a lot of trust. And the score is 20. But if you're backlinks are so many and the trust score is not so good or yours is zero that shows me that there's a, a lot of room for improvement there and when we do our linking to we do our linking to popular websites that have a trust score of 20 and basically that's a vote in Google's eyes which means if you're voted by other good websites you start to rank higher in the search engines okay so I've kept this video under 10 minutes um, can we beat your competition for a lot of these keywords? Uh, looking at what you've done, looking at what the competitors have done? Absolutely. The answer to that question is absolutely yes. Because if I go back into this guy's backlinks, I'll open this up and I'll show you right now. We'll let this load. Look at that. Zero trust score also. It's got nothing there. He has less backlinks. Um, and zero trust call. So, you know, if you want more customers, Greg, uh, if you want to build it out for January and be busy in January, February, March, happy to talk to you with uh, to you about this further. Um, and look, just letting you know, I am going to be approaching more chiropractors because I'm seeing a good opportunity here to make some money. So look, whether it's you or somebody else, it doesn't really matter to me. I, I thought, you know, I'd, I'd approach you first because you've been recommended. 
Um, and if you're interested, if you're an action taker, if you want to do something, let's talk, Greg. Um, I'm here and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay then, talk to you soon, Greg. Bye for now.